It would be like you're up in space with them. Cheers, guys. They could have made it sound more tempting. It's watermelon Red Bull. We had Hey You Pikachu. Seth McFarlane. Stop. <laughs> I'm Gouda! Is anything in this world impossible? Well, yes, quite a few things. But this burger makes that word shine. That's right, guys. We're having Red Robin's Impossible Burgers, along with some steak fries and their pub mac and cheese. Wow! Look at this. Oh, it's beautiful. We got a side of steamed broccoli, but we just decided to and decorate the mac and cheese as so. Red Robin also has a stellar selection of sauces, you guys. We've got honey mustard, we've got bistro, we've got teriyaki, and some ranch. And today's mukbang is very special because we're doing a collab with... Ashrafino Arabino! She is an awesome chick who always has amazing, delicious food in front of her. She tells great stories and she even takes on challenges. Let's check out some of Ash Lapino's content. No. When I ordered it and the guy read the order back to me, he was like, okay, a large Italian sausage pizza. I was like, no, 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 no. Beyond Italian sausage pizza. One more and then we're gonna go for it. That's really good. We're going to try to eat 12 donuts in three minutes. <laughs> Are you comfortable? I'm good, I'm good. Okay, this is where the cup of milk comes in handy. I don't do the, the eating thing. We gotta dip it. Speed eating. If I can pull these off, anyone can pull them off. Ooh. <laughs> like I'm already not feeling the ketchup. So after you're done watching us inhale this glorious feast, get your adorable butt over to her channel and support her. It's Red Bull time. It's watermelon Red Bull. It might be winter, but my taste buds are having a summer vacation. You'll know it. Cheers, Ashley. Can't wait to watch your video. Mm. Oh, so, good. so, first bite is for you. Mm. Um, we got blue cheese crumbles on this. A very, very necessary addition. It is so good. Oh yeah, we didn't describe the food. Sorry viewers. Can you tell from the look on our face what's in it? Oh my gosh. It's got pickles, onions, tomatoes, lettuce, mayonnaise, and this mm -hmm. slightly spicy pickle relish. And the blue cheese that she just mentioned. Oh. Mm. And seasoning. Red's all natural, gluten free, original seasoning. They could have made it sound more tempting. Because Red Robin has the catchiest, most memorable slogan, I will play it throughout the video just to be sure it gets stuck in your head. Red Robin! Yum. The mac and cheese is pretty good. While we were it, goofing off, the uh, fries got a little cold. It looks like it should have a little bit more flavor, but it's lacking slightly. God, it feels like it needs something. Well, you still need to taste it, but I feel like you're going to think the same thing. The same. I thought it would have more flavor, too. This is, this is light. This is not for risk takers right here. Well, the burger's really good. And that's what they're known for. Yay! Pickles. 
I've come for your pickle. I've come for your pickle. <laughs> I was, mm. I was a little nervous about the relish, but the relish is really good. Mm. Yeah, they nailed the Impossible Burger. Go get yourself one. It's bomb. We have American Dad going on in the background, you guys. And is this the episode with the ladybug pen, or is that a different one? I think that's a different one. This is one where she becomes, um, Francine becomes a real estate agent. Oh, okay. This is an early one. Oh, I think this is season two. Or or is it one? Well, it might be season one. Greg and Terry. Um. <laughs> He's showing some skin. Red Robin. Yum. I love the ladybug one. That's one of the first episodes I think of when someone mentions American Dad. Mm -hmm. Francine becomes part of this social club with women, but you find out the only reason they're all in a club is because they've all cheated on their husbands. <laughs> it's hilarious. Mm. Mm. We were big Family Guy fans. We were a little nervous about American Dad first, but it actually turned out really good too. And I gave the Cleveland show a chance and it it had its moments too. But at some point you just have to be like, Seth MacFarlane, stop. <laughs> Bro, you're good. You can take a break now. Everyone knows who you are. What sauce is this? Teriyaki? Give it a shot. Teriyaki. Ooh, it's sweet. Guys, we have been flat out obsessed, and I do not take that word lightly, obsessed with our Nintendo Switch lately playing Rune Factory 4. That would be the heat. Continue. If anyone's a big Harvest Moon fan and has not played Rune Factory yet, they totally should. It's a fantasy harvest moon. In addition to tending a farm and getting married, you can have animals, but they're monsters and you get them in the wild after you tame them and they come stay in your monster barn. You dungeon crawl. So there's a big like overarching storyline and Red Robin. You have to do a bunch of fighting and upgrading your weapons and armor to beat it and it's really fun. There's bachelors and bachelorettes in the game. You get to woo them, and you can do requests for them. She's like, ooh, requests. <laughs> Bring me a turn up by midnight. <laughs> oh, I'll be waiting. And this one has a few characters that are like human and animal hybrids. Um, one of them is part butterfly. One of them is part horse. Horse boy <laughs> the is- The fetishes. Oh my God, he's one of the crowd favorites. Dillis. It's so addicting. It's a little rough getting started, just, you know, kind of figuring out all the all the controls. You kind of have to figure some stuff out by yourself. As soon as you get the hang of it, it is a fun game. Mm. Yeah, we've been playing Harvest Moon for a long time now. We got it. Harvest Moon 64 was the first one we ever had. Um, we bought it at the Warner Brothers store. We had a Warner Brothers store in mm -hmm. our mall, only minutes from here, and it was so cool. They had a bunch of Looney Tune gear, Harry, Harry Potter. Potter stuff close to the back of the store. They actually have, for kids, this big spaceship you could get into, and you crawl inside. I swear the adults couldn't even go in after you because like it was made for kids. You could go in there and press random like buttons in the spaceship, and there was a little screen and Marvin the Martian or Duck Dodgers, like these clips would come on. It would be like you're up in space with them. It was so cool. I wonder if anyone else, else had that exact thing in their Warner Brothers store. Yeah. You guys go into space. Did you guys have a Warner Brothers store in your mall? Red Robin. Yum.
we got a little off track there. I was talking about Harvest Moon 64. I don't remember if we got it from there or we went to the GameStop nearby it. And I don't remember. Or uh, F FYE? FYE, maybe we got it from there. I can't remember. Our folks are like, go outside, it's nice. I'm like, no, I want to stay in and farm. I want to stay in and get married. What? What games are you playing? We also had Goldeneye, Mario Kart. We had Hey You Pikachu. Does anybody remember that game? Oh, um, you um, you hook up a microphone and like you yell at him and he ignores you. The purpose of the game and it was eighty dollars. Yeah, was to like talk to Pikachu and he would do what you asked. You can go fishing. You can collect ingredients to make a soup or something. Treasure hunting. That was at the beach. Yeah. Be like Pikachu, dig. We didn't even have it that long. Our, our, we got a puppy and he chewed the cord one night. I think we tried to buy another microphone, but you couldn't. You had to buy the game because yeah, the microphone came with the game. So if your microphone stopped working, you were fucked. You're done. Pikachu will never be heard from again. He will never hear your voice again. <laughs> Brutal. Um, the new Pokemon Snap is coming out soon. We're stoked about that. We are definitely buying that. I, it, I saw the trailer and it looks like it's gonna be really different than the last one. Open world. All the pokies. Um, what was your favorite picture from the old one? Like your favorite scene? Oh my God. Red Robin. Yum. The most fun I think was throwing the pester balls into the volcanoes and trying to get Growlithe, Growlithe and Arcanine to pop out because those guys were difficult to get up close. Uh -huh. You had to be throwing them as soon as you saw the tip of that volcano lobbing pester balls. You know what always surprised me? That they had coughing in the game, but they didn't have Ekans. Where the heck is Ekans? I don't know. You added coughing? but not Ekans. I don't get it. Jesse would not be happy. Or Muck and Grimer. But there are so many better ones you could have picked. Like any of the evolutions. Carrots, peppers, and bugs. Nothing beats a jelly-filled donut. Okay, okay, Dubbers. That's not a donut. I did watch a video about that. Sensors. And I'm like, why would you censor onigiri? Is that how you pronounce it? Do they not think Western kids like rice? I mean, that's what this guy was saying. It's like, there's no reason to censor that. I don't get it. That was so weird. We like rice over here. This is so good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Eating my hair, too. Mm, mm. Last bite with some sauce. We'll do Red Robin. Yum. Look at those little seeds. Mm. I'm so hungry in my toes. Oh my god. Time for something sweet. We didn't get dessert. Ashley, did you get dessert? Their milkshakes look pretty dope. They had a gingerbread one, y'all. Mm -hmm. Limited time. Mm. I'm so creative, guys. Uh, I should open my own restaurant. Dope. Mm. Cheers, guys. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, viewers. Wait a minute. One more time. Red Robin. Yum.
We want to thank you guys so much for joining us on our Red Robin adventure. And thank you, Ash Lapino, Jalapeno, for collabing with us. We really enjoyed sharing this meal with you. Guys, head over to her channel and support her. Have a great weekend and... Embrace your inner chi.